What has Seattle's home appreciation been over the past five years? How about the past decade? And where are we headed? In today's video, we are tackling the topic of Seattle's home appreciation and how it affects you. Hi everyone, my name is Sterling. And I'm Jess, we are real estate brokers with Sterling team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services serving the greater Seattle area. Let's quickly define appreciation as it pertains to real estate. The Cambridge Dictionary defines appreciation as an increase in value. When a home value goes up, that's appreciation. When it goes down, that's depreciation. Pretty simple, right? If you own a home or ever plan on owning a home, it's very important to have peace of mind and confidence that your home's value will at least keep up with or outpace inflation. After all, what's the point of owning a home if you feel it's a risky investment with too much financial downside? What's normal home appreciation? Well, historically, this varies widely. Nationwide, the average year-over-year appreciation has been around 4%. In comparison, Seattle's appreciation has been a supercharged rocket ship this past decade, breaking records for our region and far outpacing the national average. Over the past 10 years, Seattle's average appreciation has been an astounding 11.5% per year. Yeah! That is an amazing amount. Now, you might be saying the whole country has had real estate appreciation that is more than normal these past few years. And you're right. Still, Seattle has beaten the national average by a long shot. If we zero in on the past five years, this graph shows that the national average home prices went up around 49% from 2016 to 2021. During that same period, Seattle's home prices have jumped around 70%. That's huge. Why did Seattle grow faster than so many other parts of the U.S.? The driving force behind appreciation can be summed up by supply and demand. Well, let's just dig a little deeper. On the supply side, Seattle is sandwiched between two bodies of water, Lake Washington and the Puget Sound. Bellevue, the sister city to Seattle, is in the same situation. It's located between two bodies of water as well, Lake Washington and Lake Sammamish. Many U.S. cities have the ability to spread out and develop more housing in any direction when there is demand. But Seattle can't do this, and it makes the supply of housing very limited due to the geographical constraints. This, on top of zoning restrictions within Seattle and the greater Seattle communities, makes the ability to create new housing a real challenge. On the demand side, the Seattle region has grown in popularity. You already know that we exploded as a world-renowned tech sector, but our area also has a diverse employment base with many other industries creating high-paying jobs. We are also blessed with wonderful outdoor activities and immense beauty. Washington is known as the Evergreen State since we have so much greenery. Two major mountain ranges, the Cascades and the Olympics, and tons of lakes. There are many more reasons why people love our region and continue to move here, including no state income tax, excellent higher education, an incredible food scene, and so much more. We'll share all the reasons why we love Seattle in another video. For now, we want to make the point that we have had a growing population and high demand for years. With housing in low supply and high demand, this means appreciation has grown at an accelerated rate. We get this question a lot. Who the heck can afford to keep up with such dramatic price increases and expensive homes? Well, let's look. The median household income in Seattle hit $102,000 just three years ago in 2019. At that time, 26% of Seattle households made less than $50,000 per year. But check this out. Around 22% of households made more than $200,000 per year. And some households made significantly higher income. Yes, here in the greater Seattle area, we have tons of people making a lot of money. Why does all this matter? If you are a buyer, you want to be aware that appreciation has a dramatic effect on home prices and values. For many, home appreciation has outpaced affordability. Since some neighborhoods in the Seattle region have increased by as much as 30% in this past year. Don't you think that affects what you can afford? Of course it will. Now, if you are worried that you might be buying at an all time high, that's a valid concern. And just like the stock market, real estate values go up and down. 
Also, just like an index fund in the stock market, real estate tends to be a great investment, especially if you give it enough time. As an example, let's look at this Seattle property. My dad purchased this property in 1968 for $18,500. That's less than what many cars cost today. Besides the normal maintenance, a couple of new roofs over the years, my dad never did any extensive remodeling. Want to guess what he sold it for 38 years later in 2006? The answer is $625,000. That's almost 34 times the price he bought it for. Today, in 2022, the property is probably double that price and close to $1.3 million, give or take. Also important to note is that from 2007 to 2012, during the Great Recession, the property went down in value. But given enough time, good old appreciation did its magic and the price went up significantly. If you own a home, congratulations, you're pretty smart. It has to feel good to enjoy the home while it goes up in value during your sleep. Also, if you're thinking about selling, it's important to note that your home could be worth way more than you think. Prices have soared and many neighborhoods have tripled in value over the past 10 years. Do we think this massive appreciation will continue at the same rate over the next 10 years? Probably not. It's just not sustainable. At some point, the market will cool. Values will even go down. Yet, historically, long-term appreciation trends upwards. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Before you go, we'd really appreciate it if you would click the like button and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Thanks.